um, uh, first I'm going to explain the situation and then uh, we're going to look for the rules or I'm going to look for the rules first let's do that first PayPal terms there's something that people don't understand but uh, terms and condition user agreement no 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 yeah um, but this is the yeah we'll explain it soon but what we are looking for is um, illegal activities I didn't know they had a uh, list that's an inter yes this is interesting um, they updated it in September nice um, please people don't do anything uh, with a stream but uh, this is the important part and while I was reading it yesterday, I was like, what? They have a lot of power. But I'm, I'm going to explain it soon. I'm going to explain the situation first. And then we're going to go through this. Because this is interesting. And most people don't know that. Yeah. The only problem I'm having here is contact information. Oh, they still have it. For general question, question, please refer to our help center if you have question about obtaining a book. Okay, I thought they didn't have it, but they have it. Okay. Okay, let's look at it. Yeah. Um, we have what we need, and this is the policy, right? I don't have the. Yeah, I think it's here. Interesting to talk about okay so um i cannot change the nice thing about twitch is i can change the title but here if i want to change the title i need to go to youtube change the title and all the stuff so um no uh, not going to happen but i didn't want to create a whole new stream where i'm going to discuss this but this is interesting um let me give you guys a backstory so you can guys get a general idea. I cannot give you names because uh, I don't have permission to give names. But uh, I'm going to change some activities into something that you can see uh, on, uh, on the website. I just thought about one. Um, keep in mind, if you... So, yeah. Let me share it uh, correct. So, keep in mind, if you are doing something online it's important to know what you're doing if you're doing live stream you know what you're doing live stream if you're doing live stream you're asking donation you need to know what you're doing right if you are providing certain kind of services it's important to know what kind of services are you providing if it's design there's nothing to worry about but if it's medical things watch out for it yeah and let's say other things um, let's say you are selling things online. It's also important to know what you're selling online. The reason why I'm saying that is there are certain transactions that are allowed. But because regulation is getting more strict and strict, some financial companies need to follow those rules. And they create um, agreements. They create um terms of policy where when you look at those policies you'll be like hey i didn't know this and you need to follow them and if you do not follow them they can take action when they take action you lose everything just because you didn't follow you didn't read the agreement and do you want that so i'm going to just show you how it works so you can get a general idea and then we're going to go dive into the policy and read some things about it so you can understand how it works. The reason why I find this important is a lot of people ask donation online. A lot of people do activities online, but they never thought about this. And this doesn't, this doesn't only apply for PayPal, seriously. It doesn't only apply for PayPal. This also apply for other companies like Stripe also has that, but you don't read about it. So keep in mind. So how does it work when you, um, when you are creating a PayPal account, if you have a normal account, so let's say you have PayPal here. So this is PayPal, the big PayPal. Yeah. If you're a user, you can have two accounts. You can have a merchant account or you can have an, uh, 
uh, business account or a uh, um, consumer account. You have an account, you go into an agreement with PayPal. And it doesn't seem a lot, but you go into agreement with PayPal. You accept the terms of conditions. So technically you have an agreement with PayPal and they tell you, hey, you need to follow a terms of condition and you need to follow a policy, right? You'll be like, hey, I don't care. I just uh, accept it. I have a PayPal account. I can get money or I can pay people with the thing. This is an agreement. Yeah, keep that in mind. This is an agreement. Let's say you have a business or you are starting to create your business as a freelancer. So let's say you're starting as a freelancer here. You have a business. You create a PayPal account to receive money. And the problem with PayPal is, give me one second. The problem with PayPal is you sign the, yeah, you accept the terms of condition. You create an account and in the account, you get a business account and then you have an agreement with PayPal, right? They send you to the policy that they made, right? And here they send you to the terms that they make. There's a big difference that people don't understand. Yeah. Let's say this is the term. This is the policy. When the terms change, you will get informed by PayPal. When the policy changes, most of the time you will not get informed by PayPal. And that's something you need to know. Because technically, technically, if you look at the policy, they are technically the same as the terms, but you don't have to inform them. Terms, you have to inform people about it. So the policy, most times they do not inform you about the policy when they update it. So what you need to keep in mind is as soon as you create an account, you need to follow the rules what they have in here. And that's the important part. So if you go look at one of their policy, so we are in a, we search before the policy acceptable use policy and the terms so here you find the agreements and the terms of paypal keep in mind read them if you are merch if you have a merchant account or a business account read those things if you accept them if you don't understand them we have a link in the video you just go in the last center you can ask me question about it or ask me why where do i need to focus when i'm doing this kind of business and we can help you with your business about this stuff it doesn't only apply with paypal it also apply with other companies that where you have some financial transaction online that's why most of the time people try to look for crypto and crypto gives you some solution for this but it is getting the way around with crypto takes a lot of time so most of the time crypto is not always the best solution but sometimes you don't need it if you follow the rules yeah so these are the agreements and the terms all nice and stuff but what's important is this use policy if you look at this that means if you look at it uh, here if we create an account this is a policy we accept the terms and the policy that means we need to follow the rules what's in here most people do not read this and what nice and important is about this is this paper acceptable use policy when something is wrong with the use policy you there's a breachment in the agreement so they can terminate your account you see that where i'm going so if you do something stupid and it's not in line with the policy buy buy account if you have money on account buy buy money or they will hold the money for 180 days you will read that soon so you see what i'm going there's something you didn't know i'm not guessing uh, i'm not sure you didn't know that what can you do you need to follow their rules in order to take action that's why the policy is be like yeah they have the policy okay i need to follow the policy you need to know what you need to do let me give an example let's say you receive five thousand dollars and paper be the next day hey we are suspending your account and we were holding your five thousand dollar you need the money to pay your rent or other stuff what are you going to do you see what i'm going at and sometimes they make some let me say on a gentle word stupid mistakes and they still withhold withhold your money what are you going to do with about that 
and let's say you receive an email and in the email will be like it's a one-way email like hey this is this, this happened and you can do something about it but you do not know what to do about it you understand what i'm going at um let me give you an example i do not know if this activity is illegal because um there are no rules that are saying that this is illegal let me give you an example let's say you have a company that sells um let's say likes or views on the internet they use paypal yeah nowhere in the law says that this is illegal nowhere you cannot find this in law if you can find this in law put it in the comment seriously put it in the comment i will read about it okay i'll seriously put it in the comment find me a country to say it's not allowed to do this in the law i want to see it in the law you, you cannot find it and um the reason i'm saying this is because if you read this the policy they have a lot of activities that are illegal but some activities they don't have it in the policy if they don't have it in the policy they can just change it in a month and in two months you need to stop doing your activities just because people will be like hey i don't like the activity that you're doing so it's illegal so there's a breach we will have to hold your money just in case and then uh, we can remove you what's so smart is about this is that if i'm paypal this is the best way for me to remove all those uh people that you don't want on your platform i understand that but on the other side if you're someone small to start providing this kind of services because other people don't know how to do it and paypal according to paypal is illegal you need to find something else in order to get transaction so what interesting is about this is when you look at it in the law you have something like sometimes you have a description of law is too broad sometimes you have a description about in law is too specific you need to have a specific situation and then in that situation it apply but what paypal do in this case is interesting is because they create really broad and they name some specific things and they also give you a clear idea where you need to go when something is wrong and sometimes they ask you sometimes permission you need to ask them permission in order to do some things let me give you one set example activities require approval people require pre-approval to accept payments for certain services as detailed in the charge below so let's say you are starting out streaming I say I think I saw streaming somewhere here, right? Live streaming. Or did it move here? Live streaming broadcast thing. Any activities involve people transmitting video, voice, or text content in a live environment with potential of user interaction. You need to ask PayPal for permission. So if you live stream and you get money from live stream, you need to ask PayPal for permission. So you need to go to the sales team. Hey sales team! Can I get permission to get uh, receive money from live stream? Why is that necessary? I understand with the throwback and all the stuff, but there are certain kind of website that they use PayPal, but um, you don't have to worry about it. They will protect you. So um, live stream, if you're using PayPal, I'm curious how they will do it here. You need to ask permission. It's interesting. Really, it's interesting. But that's one way you see what i'm going at there are some activities you need to ask for permission but the simple activity you'll be like okay why do i need to ask permission for that okay so prohibited activities um let's wrap this up because otherwise i would talk too much um yeah you are independently responsible for complying with all acceptable laws correct so if i'm doing something and it's according to law in my country what does the paper has to say so if i'm selling some things and there's no rules about that why is it not allowed according to paper you understand what i mean so and what interesting is let's say you're selling um likes or whatever 
Another company is saying it's prohibited. You're not allowed to do that. Because another company says that, it's illegal. It's not correct. Another company say you're not allowed to do that. It doesn't mean it's not allowed according to the law. It's something you need to keep in mind. So when you look at this, there are some activities that they have in here. But most of the time, it's, it's not uh, clear what it is. It's not something that the law say, hey, you're not allowed to do that. So that's something really weird about the paper. But let's read it. Um, violation of this acceptable use policy contributes a violation of your paper user agreement and may subject you to damage, including limited damage of 2,500 US dollar per, per violation, which may indebt directly from your account as outlined in a user agreement. Um, the thing is, if this was in Dutch, I don't think this will hold. Because if you have um, liquid damage, you need to put the maximum behind it. I, I'm, I'm not sure about this. This wouldn't hold long in, an, uh, in the Netherlands. But this is um, this is the general. I think this is the US. In the Netherlands, otherwise it should be euros. But okay. Um, so technically, if there's prohibited activities, they can shut you down yeah when there is this they can shut you down so what are prohibited activities i'm not going to read all of them just look at the interesting one you may not use paypal service for activities that violate any law okay violate any law statute ordinated or regulation okay so when there's regulation if you violate it okay yeah related to transaction involving yeah a lot of things we are not going to do that see here stolen goods the promotion of hates all the stones for me is this important items that infringement or violate any copyright trademark rights or public privacy hmm. i think if you sell likes and um and views or whatever i think people can say hey you're violating h because it's copyright, right? Or trademark rights. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. That's one way I can say it. And other stuff. So if you're doing one of those stuff, your, your account can be terminated. Then we have another top. When there is a um, transaction where you're selling certain kind of things that's not allowed. So you see a lot of things. I'm not going to read all of them. Huh? But... Um, let's say offshore banking or transaction to finance debt yeah um you have a lot of things here yeah and let's say i think if you sell um views or likes i think maybe you can sell personal information i'm not sure how that goes how you will do that it's also important so interesting involve the sales of product or services identified by government agency that's also not um, relevant. Related transaction involved activities require pre approval. Yeah. So if you do one of these things without getting a pre approval, they can terminate your account. See? So for streaming, you need an uh, approval from PayPal team. So PayPal requires pre approval to accept payments for certain kind of service that detail in the charge below. So transportation. You need pre-approval charities. Yeah, even charities, you need to get pre-approval. Wow. So if you have a charity and you have a PayPal account, you need to get pre-approval from uh, PayPal. High value items. So if you're selling jewels, metal, stones, you need to get pre-approval. Wow. Payment facilitator. Okay, I understand that. Yeah, okay. If you're doing that, you can do that. Investment, buying, selling, broke stocks. Okay, yeah, th this I understand because of the financial rules. Gambling, gaming, prize draws, and contest. Activita activities involving gambling, gaming, or any or activities. Yeah. So if you're having a contest, 
you need to get pre-approval from PayPal. Cryptocurrency. Um, yeah, so if you're doing anything with crypto, but I'm not sure if PayPal can receive crypto, right? I'm not sure. Hmm, interesting. The sale of products requiring prescription or prescriptions. Okay. Telemedicine services, providing medical services and consulting in remote fashion. So if you are a doctor or whatever, if you are providing services, if you're using paper, you need to get permission and they're going to ask you for your license and all that stuff. Mature audience contents. Any adults? Yep. Yep. Online dating also. Live stream, if we talk about it. A file sharing. Cyberlock. <laughs> okay. A file sharing. Alcohol, tobacco. Medical items or service. I think this is. I know. I do not know what the difference is between nine and the sixteen. Okay. <laughs> Medical item and services. Multi-level marketing and direct selling organization. Uh, okay, so if you're a marketing company, if you're selling services, you also need to get pre-approval. Okay. If you're a marketplace also, you need to get pre-approval. So technically, if you look at the policy here, there are a lot of things that you need to do in order to get pre-approval. So if you need to get pre-approval, you need to go here. So it's an interesting part about PayPal and um, it's not only PayPal. I think other providers also do that like Stripe, Pioneer and uh, all the stuff. They do it also. So you, the lesson that we can learn from this is as soon as you're trying to create an account somewhere, it's important to know, okay, what are the rules? What are the use policy and what kind of agreement I'm going to use, I'm going to create with these companies. So it's important to know, keep in mind if you have a company and you're using PayPal, there's some limit to those things and the consequence can be hard for you. They have, an, um, they have a section where they explain how this works. So what will happen when they limit your account or they suspend your account. But um, it's interesting, it's interesting. I have a dream, that's all I need I'll make it happen with some work and belief Know what I want, so I'll take it on I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm winning Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be great